Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Celtic Career Mode. We're on to episode 11 today, and today will be one of the biggest episodes of the series, no doubt. Today we will play both legs of the last 16 in the Champions League. So two massive games we're going to play in this episode. Uh, sadly, that means I'm going to be summing all the rest of the games, so we'll be summing these league games where we should be winning anyway. But we're going to get these two games done. It's a big episode. Can we proceed further in the Champions League? That is the question of the episode. But uh, one thing I want to correct myself on from the last video. Uh, in the last video, I said that we're through to the last 16 of the Scottish Cup. And as one of my pals who pointed out to me that there's not even 16 Scottish teams in the game. Uh, I forgot about that when I was recording. Uh, so it turns out we're just through to the quarterfinals. Not the last 16. So the last eight of the tournament... And uh, in the draw, we were handed Motherwell. So in this episode, we're also going to sim that match against Motherwell to try and get to the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup. Uh, sadly, there's one key player, one major player missing. Uh, for Sorry, three. So I forgot about the, this. Um, there's three players missing. All defenders. Not great at all. So for the first leg, we're going to be missing Eric Sviatchenko and Kolo Ture down to suspension. All my fault there, I'm just a twat, and uh, that's that's happened. Uh, and the other person we're missing, and we're missing him for four weeks, is Kieran Tierney. So we are missing three key defenders going into this last 16. Um, hopefully it doesn't affect us massively, but we are away first. Um, things looking dim when we look at it like that with those three players missing. But I'm hoping we can get a result. Three, two, one... So this is the team I've decided to pick going into this match against PSG in the first leg. Obviously the changes at the back have had to take place. So at the back we're playing Gamboa, St Just and Foso Mensa will be the centre halves for this game. So two young guys will be at the centre half positions and at the left back Emilio Izaguirre. Obviously quite experienced, played for Celtic for a long time. Hopefully he will do quite well. But I'm, I'm really, really nervous about the two at the back, Foso Mensa and St Just. So just has been brilliant since joining. I think he's been fantastic. Using him is really good. He seems to be really good at defending. For Semenza, I've not used at centre half. I've only played him at midfield in the centre mid position. So hopefully he could do well and do a job at the centre half. But here we go. First leg. We're in Paris. We're in the Parc de Princesse or whatever it's fucking called. The Parc de Prince. I don't know. Here we fucking go. So here we are. Big night in Paris. Against the French champions, one of the best teams in the game, one of the best teams in Europe. I was hoping we got a team like PSV or uh, someone along those lines, Ajax or something, but we've got fucking PSG. And here we are, first leg in France, not going to be easy at all. I'm just going to play how we usually play, fast forward football, not going to sit back and defend. I'm trying to get as many goals, as many away goals as we can. Look at that full stadium display here in Paris. Just want to get this out of the way. I fucking hate this stadium. I think it's disgusting. Um, but what can we do? Hopefully win, to be honest. <laughs> a chance. It's Marcus Rashford. That's a horrible ball in. Oh, wasted opportunity, maybe. Scott Brown's brought it down here. Oh, it's a great save from, I believe, Kevin Trapp is in goals. Yep, Kevin Trapp. Brown brought it down really well, and it was a great shot, to be honest. Look at that. It was dying to go in the back of the net, but a good save from Trap. Come on, we've been clinical from corners this season. Keep it up. It's fell right to his head. He can't get it. Roberts. Rashford. Oh, Sinclair. It's a good ball. It's at the back post. Oh, it's hit the ball and off the line. It was a great ball from Scott Sinclair and Rashford. Ever so close to putting us up 1-0 in France. Unlucky for us. Half time. No, no, we're holding on well, but PSG have been bombarding us with attacks. So we need to we need to try and stay strong at the back. Don't get any men sent off. Roberts, what the fuck? I, oh, jeez, oh. Is that the corner flag? Oh. Oh, shut up, shut This is it, this is it. Cavani, what a save again from Skiffy. Oh, jeez, oh, it's a... To the other. Oh, fuck. Puts them into the lead. This is high class. Shambles of defending there. But a lovely bit of football from PSG, and it's PSG 1 Celtic now. No, no, why the fuck to go backwards? Oh, shit. There's a third for PSG, a great ball in. And just like that, I think. 
the European dream might have been crushed. Because right now we need to go to Parkhead and win 3 0. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's been done. Oh, don't blow the whistle, ref. I fucking hate you, referee, we had the ball! Ah, oh, right, okay, we've lost 3 0. Fair enough. Um, yep, yeah, they, they kind of walked all over us. I wasn't expecting anything less. Um, I think the dream just might, might be a little bit far out of reach now. Just realised I've been recording for the last fucking. I don't know how long. Jesus Christ, I never knew I pressed record. Um, but there we go, the news just through. Um, we've been offered the Scotland job. Isn't this interesting? Gordon Strachan has seemed to have packed his bags, he's gone. And um, in return, uh, well, not really in return, I mean, there's nothing to return to. But uh, we've been offered the Scotland job, and do you know what? This is the one I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this, or Ireland. And uh, Scotland have approached me first, so do you know what? I'm going to take the Scotland job. And now on the side of the Celtic career, uh, well, we've got a little job to try and take Scotland to Russia, if possible. Uh, and the next episode, we'll go in depth about the Scotland team a little bit. But it's still the Celtic career mode. It's still all about Celtic. I only concern me when we have big games of Scotland for the like. like let's let's have a look at our calendar, for example, here, right? Um, our first matches with Scotland are against Wales and Switzerland. Uh, and yep, they are World Cup qualifiers, so they're quite big, I'll probably play one or two of those, uh, both of them, I don't know, uh, they're the only two games we actually have for the rest of the season, so I'll just keep you updated from what I'm doing with Scotland from time to time, uh, but right now, Celtic is still the main focus, but I'm just glad to have got the Scotland job, I feel like maybe we could do something impactful with Scotland for the first time in fucking 50 years, who knows, but right now we've got a game against St Johnson to simulate. So before we do something like this match against uh, St. John's, I just want to point out something. I just realised the file is not recorded from the last game. The last game was, in fact, against, and I'll just go to the calendar to show you, Partick Thistle. I simulated it with 1-1-0. Sinclair got us the goal. For some reason, I clicked record. The file didn't record. So uh, just to let you know about that. But it's time to record this game against St. Johnson here. Um, well, uh, simulate this game. Uh, as a Parkhead once again, like the uh, like the Partick Thistle game was, the team that I'm playing, you see, it's, it's different from the usual second team. I've decided to give Gordon a chance. I've got Larson up front. Um, it's just a, a shuffling about the regular team to add in some players who don't really get a chance, especially Gordon. I would like to give him some more chances. I have been playing him in cup matches uh, and little matches from time to time. But right now we're up 1-0. Once again, Sinclair having the only goal. Sinclair gets two goals. Sinclair is on fire right now. He's doing really well. And this game at Celtic Park against the Johnson ends in a 2-0 victory for us. Uh, time to simulate the last match of the episode, well, the last match that we're going to simulate we've obviously got that big game against PSG up next this is quite risky and I apologize for simming so many games in this episode I just feel like the last 16 of Champions League is what we'll have to focus on this episode and what we've got to focus on and I want to get it done in the one episode so that is why I'm not playing any other games I really should play this this is risky we're about to play Motherwell away from home in the Scottish Cup and I'm fucking crossing my fingers here that it goes well because we're away from home I'm, I'm, for some reason, I'm not too confident. Here we go. It's the Scottish Cup quarterfinals. We win this. We're through to the semis, which is brilliant. I want to win this uh, competition, and we should be winning it anyway. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing the rest team so that the players are fit to play PSG because we've got a massive match against them. There we go. Sinclair with his fourth goal in three games. Oh, shit. They've scored. Right. 1-0. Come on. Don't take this to a fucking replay. We had to have a replay against Dundee, and that was not good. Okay, right. In the next episode, we're going to be playing a match against Motherwell in the replay of this round. That's two rounds in a row we've had to play a replay. Um, not good at all. Not what should be happening. But uh, I think we've got to put our mind on other things. Here we are. It's time. I, there's a very slim, slim chance of us getting anything from this. But the strongest team is back out in the park. Turi Sivyachenko and Tierney all playing. 3-0 down. We can hope and pray for a miracle... It's very unlikely, but who fucking knows? Let's hope it's Parkhead, Champions League night. Fucking praying, lads. Pray for me. Say a prayer right now. We can do it. Ah, oh, fuck me. Right, uh, I apologise. I've been recording uh, this game on uh, 90 game audio for the last... Well, up to this point in the game. Uh, so, I don't know how I'm going to edit it, but uh, it'll probably be very, very loud. You probably didn't hear me at all. I might even just start it from here, so if I have done that, um, yeah, we're doing 1-0.
Oh, here we go. That's lovely. We need a goal from that. Oh, it's a goal! It makes no fucking difference, but it's a goal nonetheless. That's dab. This isn't even dab. But uh, Patrick Roberts. Guess it's a goal. A little bit less shame there. Uh, if we want to... If we want to go through, though, we need to win 5-1. Uh, ah, uh, no. Well, that was short-lived. Very short-lived. Uh, it's 5-1 to PSG. Ah, uh, go away. Oh, Brown's off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, and there goes Brown. No. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> this has been awful. It couldn't be any worse. Oh, well, it could be worse if the score from this. Oh, Cavani, fuck off. This isn't fair. This isn't fair. Oh, fuck off. Damn it, yeah. Get up, ye. Cavani's a wanker. Fuck my life. Oh, ah, get up, you! You're shit! Nah, I shouldn't have spoke. Too soon. This is fucking off. <laughs> oh. Gonna go tan my wrists. Well, this has been me, Ryan 118. Hope you've enjoyed the content you've always seen in my channel because uh, there won't be any more and I'm going to go and kill myself now. 8-1. Um, <sighs> I actually feel like not showing this to save myself the embarrassment. 5-1. We've done better in fucking France. We've done better without Turin and Sviatchenko. It's too late. The European dream uh, is done. We got to the last 16. Go and prove that next season. Next season's aim is the quarterfinals. But, um, 8 1. Jesus Christ. Let's see, were we the biggest tag? Yep, we were. So let's just go past that. Um, quite disappointing. Champions. Not much we could do about it, though. Okay, to try and take our mind off the embarrassment that just occurred, uh, we're going to go and we're going to. I just got an email through. This is to be done in the next couple of days. So why not do it now? We've to pick our team for uh, the qualifying round. Of the World Cup. Now, I don't think there's going to be many changes I have to make, but there's a couple of players that I want to have in there that I'd rather play over other people. For example, I like Graham Shinney, not going to lie, I do like uh, Graham Shinney, but Kieran Tierney has been fantastic for me this season, so I'm going to have to take him. He's a Celtic player, of course. I picked Robert Snodgrass, another future Celtic player in this. Uh, I'm going to have to take. Who else is it? I don't think actually. I think that's it. I think I think that's the only changes I'm actually going to make to the team. I feel like I've got to take um, if I can find them. I can't even remember what overall is in this. They right, he should be higher up than this. I'm trying to find Oliver Buck. Uh, he's probably already been picked, hasn't he? No, he's no. Where does Oliver Buck? I like to take Oliver Buck. There he's right there. Seventy rated. I'm going to take Oliver Buck with me as well over Johnny Russell. And uh, that is going to be my squad, if you quickly want to look through it. I'm just going to say, uh, this will end off the episode, guys. Uh, so, in goals, uh, we've got, well, the three goalkeepers we're taking. Marshall, Gordon, and Gil Gilks? Where the fuck would I take fucking Gilks with me? Get, get him out of the team right now. All right, okay, no, we'll keep Gilks. Uh, the defenders we're taking. Robertson, Berra, Martin, Hanley, Hutton, Bardsley, Tierney, Mulgrew, uh, we've got, actually right now, I'm making another change. We've got a lot of fullbacks. A lot of fullbacks. So I'm going to take Gordon Greer uh, just in case we run out of centre backs. We shouldn't know. Uh, midfielders James McCarthy, Charlie Adam, Matt Ritchie, Robert Stodgas, Stephen A. Smith, Liam Bridcut, Ryan Gold, Ryan Fraser, and Oliver Buck. And the three strikers will take McCormack, Rhodes, and a former friend of ours, a, a familiar face. Lee Griffiths. So that is the team we're going to be taking to the qualifying round of the World Cup. Well, this stage of it. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, which was really hard, if you did enjoy it somehow, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Uh, keep me sane, please. Keep my sanity intact from that heavy defeat. We'll ignore it. Pretend it never happened. Next season, we're going to change it up the Champions League. We're going to do it a lot better. We're not going to get embarrassed from big teams like that. But uh, for me, I'm 1-8. This has been episode 11 of the Celtic Career, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.